of Lublin. I'm a visual artist, I'm a programmer, I'm a teacher here at DubSpot. You can follow me on Twitter. Vidvox is my company. What is the term video jockey? So in the early days, sort of like with radio disc jockeys, it was a person who just kind of introduced the next song on television and you had like your MTV or VH1 VJ. Hello and welcome to MTV's Most Wanted. It's Friday night, it's an historic evening. Now it kind of, just like DJing, has evolved into something else and sometimes VJs don't like being called VJs because it has this connotation of just being the person on MTV. I think of them sometimes as video ninjas because they have this skill set that lets them work in all of these different places. Really, anybody who uses real-time video techniques to make their artwork, I consider to be a VJ. Who are people who are doing VJs and what are they doing? So under this kind of very broad umbrella of VJs now, you're gonna see people doing like show visuals and that's gonna be like at concerts or in clubs. You're gonna see people who like focus on doing media remixing. So not just music remixing and not just video remixing, but both of those and maybe even other stuff, bringing in still images, whatever, and creating something new out of that. Even the, um, the final like sort of audience for it might not even be in a club. It might be something just going up to the web. Another place where you see visuals are in set design, people where they're just kind of, you know, it's part of the stage design during, you know, for theater production. And then you put people who do music video production using these real-time techniques. When you're doing show visuals, typically the visual elements you're creating are the backup for some other part of the performance. You're doing visuals for musicians and the visuals are behind them and reinforcing it. And that's usually when you see visuals in a concert or in a club, also a lot of times in churches and places like that. So pretty much live events where something is happening and the visuals relate to that. Next up, uh, I think of the, the media remixers. My favorite of these is this guy, The Eclectic Method. Doctor. Doctor. An alien who travels through time and space in a Hindi beatbox. Time is a straight line. Time doesn't go round and round. Time travel. Time travel. Time travel. And if you look him up, he's done a whole bunch of kind of epic remixes. My favorite of them being a huge nerd is uh, he did the 50th anniversary Doctor Who remix. Next up in the list of kind of all the different people are the live cinema people. These people are creating stories that have narrative elements to them, and if there is a musical score, it's sort of in the background to the visual performance and the plot in the way that like a musical score for a movie is the background. It reinforces, it changes the way you feel about a scene, but it isn't necessarily telling the story itself. And I think the people who do the best job of this are known as the light surgeons. Part of their process for when they're working is they'll go to a place, they'll film hours and hours of footage, interviewing people, they go back to their studio, they combine all of that, they kind of find all the good parts, they combine it with some motion graphics. Sometimes they do their own music, sometimes they collaborate with other musicians who are local to that space, to wherever they were. They're basically documentary filmmakers is the way that they see them. They're like documentary VJs in a sense. So when they go to make a demo reel and stuff like that, they know what they're doing. The next section, I call it set design. Sometimes you'll hear it referred to as stage design. And this is using video elements as part of like a stage design or the backdrop. So if you go see a play somewhere, uh, the backdrop doesn't need to be you know, something that's painted or even static. They can drop down a projection screen and then have some live visuals that happen there. And they could even be reacting to the things that happen to the actor. So it doesn't just need to be a background. You could have uh, you know, live characters that you're remixing and triggering clips live. So last in this section, people who make music videos. So this is capturing performances with, that are made with video instruments, like you're doing studio recordings, and then you kind of like edit and master it. VJs have this common skill set and tool set no matter which of these areas you're working in. So a lot of times VJs will work with audio and video. 
whether it's you know audio analysis or making their own audio um, because they've gotten into it because they started that way. VJs, just like musicians, they work with software and hardware. You're running on a computer sometimes. You're using MIDI controllers. Um, and, but ultimately, the goal is to kind of find your own combination to get a unique style. When you're starting off, you might be just using other people's video clips, other people's templates or effects. Um, but as you start to learn more and more of those and start to shove them all together, you get your own unique style out of it. Uh, to talk a little bit about the tools that people use when they're doing live visuals, you've got things like MIDI controllers, and these provide your physical like instrument, your interface for performing your VJ software. Just like when you see a musician up on stage, if they're crunched over their computer, it's rather boring to watch, you're not convinced that they're doing anything live. VJs are the same way if you're on a MIDI controller. It's good for the audience to actually see you doing something and performing live, but also it enables you to do more at once than just you, than you can do with a mouse. When, with a mouse, you're just clicking, you can only do one thing at a time. I just brought this very simple one because the Korg Nano Control, which is, it's a great little touring control because they're really easy to find. They're not very expensive. You can like go into Guitar Center and pick one of these up if it breaks. Um, but it's also rather versatile. So one of the things is when I'm, I do a lot of different shows and you know, I kind of have like my go-to VJ set, but very often when I get pulled in to do something, it's a custom job. And sometimes I might need to do a lot of thing where I'm performing a lot live. And other times, I might just need to like trigger some clips on cue and adjust some video levels. And that's why like a controller like this can be really nice to just have sometimes, where it's just like, okay, I've got a couple of layers of video and I just need to like fade them in and out and trigger things at the right time. And I don't want to have to carry my whole big controller that I usually bring with me. Something like this is actually kind of really nice. So I'll go through a couple of like random little projects and ideas that I've been, the sketches of things that I've been working on. So this project is kind of big, but it's not that crazy. I pretty much have like um, two media, two like we call them media bins. One of them I have it looking at like my real-time visual, like my generative stuff. And then in the other bin I have all of my like kind of um, more like uh, actual video clips, and a lot of it's like archival footage. And so on the right side, I have like previews of each of my four layers that I have going on right now. And the way that I've set up this for doing live performance is on each mix, I have one of these video generators and one video clip, and I can mix between them in that regard. These preview windows that are up at the top here, I have the first one is my left mix. The middle one is my, my actual output right now, and then this side, I, and then I have my right side mix. And one of the reasons I really like working this way is I can have my left side mix jam on it, control effects and stuff like that, and then I could set up my sort of right mix, and that's ready to crossfade into when the DJ changes over a song, or even just like when the beat drops. And I can have these as like even two different energy levels. I can have one that's like a low energy thing, one that's my high energy thing, and I can crossfade between them. So um, I have this like big crossfader slider here. I just use this right here, and I crossfade between my two different mixes. So one of the really cool techniques is being able to use uh, you could use like luma keys or chroma keys so that you can like mask out part of an image and have it only show up. So if that one's faded in all the way, you'd probably be able to see that like um, there's video happening inside of that guy, and he's happening in front of this other thing. It's not being blended together. It's actually like a, sort of a compositing stage, and there's video happening inside of him instead of it just being him running. But technically, that guy running is just a black and white clip. Pretty, pretty much, no matter, no matter what you go in to learn, you will find like the weird offshoots of it that are like so specific to what you want to do. And I think that a lot of the times, as instructors, like we could show you the basics, and then we could show you like the advanced stuff. But ultimately, the best way of learning is going to be exploring it yourself. And we, for us to be able to make you comfortable with exploring it, especially as artists, like being able, you just want to explore and be creative. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. 
With course offerings both online, wherever you are, and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dove Spot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.